Hey guys, Hedgy here, and today we're going to talk about setting up a mixer with your PC for streaming, recording, whatever else you want to do. I've seen a lot of threads and questions asked in streams to, you know, the bigger streamers that use use mixing boards, and it always seems to be the same question is, how do I set this up? How does it work? And it's even streamers themselves that are, you know, they're streaming to a few thousand people, and they use a dual PC setup. They don't know how it works, necessarily. Not everyone, but there are some that just, they're, someone else set it up for them and they have no idea what's going on. So today I'm going to cover that to, and explain it in very basic terms. And hopefully you've learned something and it helps you in the future. Now there are two ways that you can set up, two different setups you can do with your mixer. Your mixer, essentially what it does is it pulls all the audio in from your game, your voice, chat, whatever. And it, it mixes it all together into one signal and sends it back out. You know, a lot of people see all the, you know, the knobs, the sliders, and they get very intimidated by that. It's really not that complicated. It, like your computer has one built into it. It just does it with software instead of knobs and dials. You know, if you can use that, you can use this. It's very, it's identical, it's the same thing. What it allows you to do is control each channel. So if you have, say on one channel, your game volume coming in and another channel your voice chat you know your discord whatever you can control them you control them with knobs rather than software it's it's the same thing and this helps streamers by allowing them physical control of these channels you know they don't have to go into software and change stuff they can just reach over to their knob the, you know the knob for that channel turn it up or down whatever very very straightforward so i guess we'll jump right into single pc setup so I decided that before we jump right into the interface between the mixer and your PC, we should go over the mixer first. The mixer is very, very straightforward. There's channels for each input and controls for the outputs. Now, I've put a picture here of my mixer. It's a Behringer Xenix Q1002B. It's a USB mixer. It also allows me to you know, you can still use the main out, which I do. I don't use the USB out. Here we have all of the inputs. These are the signals that you want to hear, and you bring them into your mixer. So this is your game volume, your voice volume, etc. Here we have your main out control and your main uh, mix slider. This is your overall control, your, you know, your master control for your entire mixer. This is what, uh, you turn this up and down, it, it scales everything that comes out. This main out is also what goes from the mixer is the main output. So it, it's everything that's mixed together leaves this output and goes into your PC, or in my case, my PC. Some people might use the USB, I don't like it. So I use the main out. I also have a sound card in my PC, so I can I have this ability to use this. Here is FX send. Now this is what I use to send only my voice, only my microphone out of the mixer. This is how I, you know, instead of sending you know game sound into Discord or whatever voice application I'm using, it'll only send what my microphone is picking up. And in order to do that, you have to adjust all of the FX send uh, knobs. So there's the FX send master output, which is the output to that device. But then each channel also has its own knob, which allows you to set the scale of, you know, if you want that out or that channel to output to the FX send output. And I've, here's a picture of my setup right now, you can see, of, of the knobs. You can see that I have every channel except for the channel one, which is my microphone, turned down to zero. I have the FX send zeroed and the channel one zeroed. So it, it's, you know, it's a straight, whatever my microphone is picking up, it goes to FX send. Now I'm not gonna go over setting up individual channels and, and levels and, and all that stuff. It's very trial and error-y. You, I can't just tell you, oh, set these knobs to this. That's not really how it works. You need to do your own kind of trials. You know, it depends on your background noise, how loud you talk. What I will do is go over what needs to plug in where into your computer to make sure you get the proper signals to and from your mixer. Next, we're going to jump into the single PC setup and then we'll do the dual PC setup. It's very, very simple. You know, you don't get intimidated when you see all these knobs and, you know, cables and all that stuff. It's not very complicated. So here we go. I've got my mixer and my PC. 
Now, we need to figure out how to get the signals to the mixer and the mix signal back to the computer. This is very simple. It's very simple for both dual PC and single PC. So I've laid this out how I have mine set up. I have a, your, every motherboard has a stereo input and a microphone output. Some have 7.1, et etc. et cetera, et cetera. We don't care about that. What I need to tell you is I have a sound card too. So I have basically two sets of ins and outs. This allows me to separate my voice chat volume and my game volume. There are other ways to do this without actually having a sound card. You can do it with, I'm sure you can do it with virtual audio cable. I think that's what it's called. But yeah, there's there's lots of software ways you can do this. Um, I just happen to have a sound card for, I've had it for quite a while, so it's it's just made it easier. So let's go over this here. So motherboard out. I've labeled this A. This is my game volume. And I have this connected to channel 5.6 on my mixer. The only reason I use, it doesn't matter if you use 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that, that's not important. It's The only reason I use it is because it's at the bottom and I can reach it easier. I don't have to reach really far to get it. That's just personal preference. So this is my game volume. This is how I control game volume. I always use it for music, but I control that with software because I don't feel like setting up a third channel. That's the output from your computer to the mixer. So this is normally what you would plug your headphones into if you just had you know, a headset with you know, your, your out and in, your mic and your headphones. Next we've got motherboard in. This is what I use to mix everything in. This is my input. This is what OBS hears. This is what goes into my computer. This is like my microphone normally, but it's mixed, all mixed together with game volume, voice chat, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Next is sound card out. I've labeled that C. You can see I have that in 910, also because it's at the bottom. That's just personal preference. This is how I've separated my Discord voice. I use Discord for voiceover. It's just easy. Most voice applications allow you to choose your output device. In this case, it's my sound card. Now, sound card in. This is my voice chat mic in. So this is what's coming from FX Send. You can see up at the top, I've labeled D. And from the picture earlier, you saw that I had all of the cha other channel knobs except my microphone, which is in channel one, turned all the way down to zero. So they were basically eliminating those channels. Some mixers have um, auxiliary bar buses, in which case you you push a button and it sends just that channel or just those channels to a certain output. Um, this is a very cheap mixer. It's you know it's very very simple, so it, it doesn't have that. And I've also put the USB in. Because it's a USB mixer, you can use USB if you don't have the... Like, if I didn't have a sound card, I would probably be using the USB. It's just like the main out. It, it takes the main signal and sends it to the USB bus. So as you can see, it's very straightforward. Everything you want out, just like going to your headphones, you just send it to the mixer. Everything you want to put back into the computer, voice or mixture of everything, you just put on the outputs send them back to your mic inputs. And that's it, that's that's single PC with a mixer. It's very straightforward. Now a lot of you may be thinking, well, dual PC must be way more complicated than that. You're using two computers for that. It's really not, because if you think about it, all you really wanna do there is send your mixed audio to your stream, which is on your stream PC. It's just like the single PC setup, but you're sending vo the audio out. Now to prove this, I've made this slide. As you can see, nothing has changed except for the main out. The main out now goes to your stream PC instead of your gaming PC. All you're doing is taking the mix signal and sending it to where the stream is. That change, that small cabling change, is just from one place to another, it's no different. So as you can see, this really isn't that complicated. So hopefully this helped you. If it did, maybe leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments. So until next time, happy streaming.